Welcome to the video on rates and proportions. This also covers scaling up and scaling down in order to find equivalent ratios. Started over here, we read the situation about a, a scholar's bowl or a quiz bowl, and uh, different students answer a different number of problems in a certain amount of time. And we looked at um, how this is an example of a rate. Which is it basically a ratio that compares two quantities that are measured in different units. So notice, these are four problems, correct, in five minutes. This is different than another ratio where it was movies, you know, certain type of movies to another certain type of movies. Okay, this is problems to minutes, different units. So this would be a rate. All right? Now you could also write it four problems to five minutes using the colon, but notice today we're going to use a lot of the fraction bar um, uh, format. All right, so they said that K's rate is four problems per five minutes. So they wanted you to do the same with Susan, Doug, and Mako. And you can see our results here. Seven problems in ten minutes, one problem in two minutes, and so on. All right, and then we learned that a proportion is an equation that states that two ratios are equal. So what I normally say is four lines. Okay, four lines. So we have a line here and an equal sign and another ratio bar. All right, our fraction bar. So we have four lines. And then that sets us up for writing two ratios that are equal to each other. All right, like two to four is the same as six to 12. They're an equal ratio. And how do we get from, let's say, the case, four problems correct in five minutes to do something else? Well, you ask yourself, how do I get from five to 20? All right, well, you need to multiply by four. So you multiply by four down here, you need to multiply by four up here. All right. So we would get 16 out of 20. So we could predict that in 20 minutes at this rate, she would have 16 problems answered. All right, now, how does that apply? Well, we're going to um, scale up, which basically means we're multiplying by the same factor in both situations. All right? Now, before we get to that, um, they said use the definition of a ratio to verify that 4 fifths is equivalent to uh, 16 twentieths. Well, Notice that 4 fifths is the same as um, 8 tenths, so is 16 over 20. So basically, these two ratios are equal because the, re the result is equal. So 0.8 is equal to 0.8. All right, so what they want us to do is figure out, predict how many questions could Susan and Doug and Mako get done in 20 minutes. So we use our rate that we found over here, and... We multiplied by 2 here to get to 14. We multiplied by 10 here to get to 10. Multiplied by 5 here to get to 15. And then from that, we have 16 out of 20, we have 14 out of 20, 10 out of 20, and 15 out of 20. Which one has the best rate? Well, it's K. So we'd probably um, put her in as our student to answer the questions in the lightning round. All right. So then we gave you some time to practice. All right. <clears throat> Scaling up here on this situation, and then scaling down, we saw, is basically dividing the top number and the bottom number by the same factor. All right? And then your assignment is page 55, question number 3, so A through H, and then the stretch on page 56, 1, 2, and 3. All right, thanks for watching.